interesting how you could draw a little mouse. Most schools have computer labs where students come a few periods a week to do homework and polish their digital skills. But EAST labs are different. EAST stands for Environmental and Spatial Technology. And in labs like this one at Horace Mann Middle School in Little Rock, Arkansas, students spend five periods a week and countless hours after school designing buildings. We can put a door, I guess, right here making films, play it, play it from there. and dreaming up ambitious projects that they see through to fruition. I made a model based on our greenhouse outside. I tell them the first day, this is not a computer class. This is a problem solving class in which you take a community service project that may be very well an idea and you make it a reality. Not pie in the sky, make it happen. Believe that you can do it. And that really opens a lot of doors for these kids. To participate in the nonprofit EAST initiative, schools need to raise about $150,000, which covers the cost of technology tools and ongoing teacher training. Many EAST projects have an environmental theme. Our project is the Birth Sanctuary Project, and students can come out during their lunch time and during their class time to observe the birds. Well, we can just like move it down, can't we? Yeah. The average teenager only goes outside 20 minutes a week, and this project hopefully will help kids learn about nature and appreciate birds and bats and owls. I don't select the projects for them. They buy into those projects because they believe in them. We contacted the people who own the rights. They want to make a difference. They have been told for the past 10, 12 years that you're too little, you're too young, you can't do it. And then all of a sudden you say, yes, you can do it. Give me a plan, find the money. And these kids are very inventive about it and they become very passionate about what their cause is. We're actually designing a stadium to go out where our football field is. Hopefully they'll actually come up with enough money to build it. Money. Right now it's going to cost really expensive because we've come up to where it's going to be turf versus grass and then the popcorn and everything. Popcorn? Popcorn. That's important. To raise money for the school. <laughs> yeah. One project began as an effort to document a dark chapter in American history. The Japanese American Internment Project started out as a very simple idea, and the idea was to find the two camps that existed in South Arkansas and GPS them. This is the camp. All around it are cotton fields. All I'm trying to do is put things on a map so people can tell that there's history lying just so far away, just that far. What ultimately happened is these kids became so passionate about what had occurred that they wanted to make the citizens of Arkansas aware of what had happened in their own backyard. So it became a documentary film. That documentary film came about because they figured out a way to go to California and interview Japanese Americans. You know, like I always say, the wound has healed, but the scar remains. And it remains as a reminder that this should never, ever happen again. More than 1,300 copies of the student film have been distributed worldwide. And the production led to the creation of a memorial garden at the school. It made me more serious about what changes kids can do and that we can actually make an impact and people will listen to us. What we're looking for now is ideas from students. Students also make an impact on their community through service learning projects. Working with the local Audubon Society, Mann students surveyed the Fouche Creek watershed adjacent to their school. The number one goal of this particular project would be to really get students to tune in to their, their environment. We were able to literally take down the four walls of the science classroom and put students out in the field where they're doing real world data collection. 19.9. We are testing the water quality for dissolved oxygen, turbidity, flow rate, and a couple other things. The temperature in the air is 29.9. Temperature in the water, about 21.6. 
so many of the students that we work with in rural, urban, and suburban areas do not get outside. Their only knowledge of nature is based on television, and so it's a very superficial. Sometimes when we go out, they think they're going to see monkeys. And they will say things like, I've never had my tennis shoes off concrete, or I didn't know birds made sound, which to me is such a travesty because Arkansas is an incredibly blessed state. Well, I like learning about the environment because it's something that has a lot to do with our life and the way we live. And I hope to become a pediatric radiologist, and if that doesn't work out, I was thinking about being an environmentalist. Flores Mann students presented a video of the Foosh Creek Project and showed off their other work at the annual East Conference, where more than 2,000 students and facilitators from around the country come to attend workshops, the drawing program, you should know what layers are. present projects, and compete for awards. We do have a medallion for each one of the finalist winners to symbolize and remind them of the environment that they have worked to protect. It's a rock concert atmosphere in which hard work, imagination, and community service are celebrated. The critical element of East is the subset of skills that East kids are developing as a result of their projects. It's not to say their projects aren't important, they are very important, but the skills are absolutely primary. And these are the skills that are today being called 21st century skills. You look at the communication skills, how personable these kids are, how well they interact with grown -ups. Around here is Lahaina, and that side is a little warmer as well. Their problem-solving skills, tolerance for ambiguity, their sense of being able to do things that they didn't even know were possible. Those are amazingly important skills, and that to me is the underpinning of this whole program. When kids leave East, they are prepared for the world. What does it feel like to be out like this? Nice, tranquil. I think this is a place that you can learn? Yeah. Yes. For more information on what works in public education, go to edutopia.org.